This is a song for our Sangha, a beautiful Sangha, worldwide connection, a global Gayatri Sangha. We have become connected through the Gayatri through the chanting and the singing and the meditation and the fun and the love. <laughs> so, I can feel your heartbeat. I can feel it. Sangha is very loose and very, forgiving. and very forgiving. We're here to have some fun. So the more mistakes, the better. <laughs> you know what? Today you cannot make a mistake. You cannot make enough mistakes. Yeah, you <laughs> cannot make enough. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't make the same mistake twice.
time of the day or night as we travel down this long and winding road. You gave me the greatest gift. You made my heart my own. You made my heart my Play another one. Play the way of the heart. <laughs> <laughs> These are old songs, you know. They're so nice to sing. This is another song for our community. You know. uh, that last song, that was uh, that was a, a, a way of honoring and recognizing the family that we have become over these weeks. And. Uh, what a beautiful family we are. These songs are for us there. And if this is your first visit, we're well, welcome. Just a minute. See if we can do this. Oh, it's really a beautiful song. It's another song by Maniko. It was one of the songs that we sang many times in the ashram. It's a classic song. Let the way of the heart. Let
across the world or disappear into one or disappear Would like, would you want to play that? Well, not now. Yeah. Not now. Not now. Um, the, ten, well, the song for me, um, the Till I Was Loved By You. And she can't remember th the title, but she. <laughs> <laughs> and there was, a, there was a verse in there that n didn't actually make it into the so song. And it said, Encouraged and challenged, here we stand. I don't know. But anyway, it had these two two words encouraged and challenged yeah. and I think it's such a beautiful line because definitely Mitten does both of those things to me he encourages me and he challenges me and I think that's a real good if, if the balance of those two things are right <laughs> yeah, and the sweet balance I think it's a beautiful friendship you know that that's that's what we we appreciate in each other and we have a good friend that's somebody who who, who encourages and challenges us. And uh, so in the music, Matan is definitely, not just in the music, but he's definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Careful what you say. <laughs> <laughs> I'll mean, leave it at that. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but it's true, one thing is true about what she just said, you know, our whole basis of our connection here that you see is based on the understanding that our individual spiritual journey is the priority. So we can support each other in understanding that that's... Th th so when I say things to Dave about the music, she knows, she knows that I'm saying as a friend, not as a critic or as someone. And, th and same with, with her when she tells me to pick my trousers up off the floor, that I know it's <laughs> coming from love, you know. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> tidy myself up, things like that. I know where it's coming from. It's coming from a deep, deep friend connection, a really deep friend connection. And that's, uh, for us, that's what has helped us all these years to be together. It's, it's because we're really good friends. And... Uh, and uh, there's no, there's no limit, not in our music. We're s always evolving. We're always a work in progress with the <laughs> music. You never know, you know. So uh, it's so nice to, to, to be sharing and come back to this very intimate feeling between me and Deva with all you guys looking in and uh, and being with us and we feel you and we mm. feel this connection and so uh it's just a, a you know hallelujah for the internet i mean without the internet we would uh, we would be uh, probably much healthier but we wouldn't be so well connected with each other and uh, that's really a great mm. a great gift in, in times like this so mm. it's uh again looking for the gratitude, you know? Yeah. Yes. Because and, uh, of you, uh, oh no, we're going to have rain here soon. I just want to say a big happy birthday to Jochen, because Jochen oh, has Jochen. been with, with us so many years, and uh, it's such a, such a de dear friend and, mm. and support, and just total yes and he shows up at a concert and he'll help and he'll be there in Corfu and he yeah, is just uh, you, Jochen, <laughs> happy He's birthday to you yeah. and uh, so happy that you're in our lives and there's so many people I'm sure here who are watching who know you and send you a happy birthday greetings 
And there, I know that there's quite a lot more uh, of you that I have her birthday today. I know that Alexandra's birthday is today, and uh, that Daria's granny's birthday is today. No, no, maybe that's not her birthday, but there's so many. Don't worry, don't worry, it's okay. So many um, messages that we are receiving of uh, would we sing for for a friend or, or would we wish happy birthday? And I know we miss quite a few because we're getting a lot of messages and it's difficult to keep it all uh, organized. But just know that we that you are in our hearts if we mention you or not. And also just write in the comments that it's my birthday. You know, if it's your birthday, so that that people can see it and can keep you in their hearts yeah. as they see your name coming up. It's a community we have now. You know, that's yes. the beautiful thing. We're not isolated. It's such a great thing we've we've created together. Mm. I'm really feeling it today. Yes. Also, um, Jo wrote that she she lost the physical presence of her son Jacob today 23 years ago so it's a very strong day for her and Daria's grandmother is alone can't, she can't be with her because of, of the situation and Michelle lots of healing energy to you Michelle Dunn you know we, we it's beautiful to be mentioned but if you're not mentioned by name you know that you are anyway in this field that we're creating yeah. together yeah. you know and that's that's really the most important Shall we embark on our meditation? Yeah. yeah. And our meditation is the key. Mm. <laughs> it's, the, it's the anchor to this uh, Sangha, this Gayatri Global Sangha that we have created together. So for the meditation... Can you just give me a beat? Because we... we You can just close your eyes and we just have to tune up a little and you can hear the sounds of the instruments tuning up. close let's take our deep breath bring our awareness to the moment to the power of this moment the power of love the power of loving connection As we sit in our silent temples with our eyes closed, giving thanks. We don't know even what to give thanks for. And even if there's no reason to be happy, give thanks anyway. Keep your heart open. can receive the blessings through the heart, the way of the heart. So we begin with the mantra Om. And as much as you can, bring your voice in rhythm with Deva so that we create a pulse the pulse that we begin to recognize now within West we as we chant together now after these weeks. We feel that pulse as we chant the Om. Stay with Deva. And then we can move into the Gayatri Mantra and then back into the Mantra Om. Have a beautiful meditation, everyone. And don't forget, there's nothing serious about this. This is a 
sincere and playful acknowledgement of the great spirit. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath together and breathe out. And a deep breath. Thank you. 
tad savi tur verīja. Ar gudi vasjaļi singing on your
singing within us the mantra. Even when we don't use our voices, it's still going on inside. So let's just listen to it from the inside with this round. open just take a moment close your eyes come home compassion forgiveness Are you getting bitten? <laughs> 
Usually there are no mosquitoes in the day, mm-hmm. but because it's such a rainy day, there's a mosquito. <laughs> That's really the test of your meditation. <laughs> Here's another song for the Sangha. of light that's who we are in the stillness beyond the heartbeat where the moonlight meets the sun in that silence where we dance alone with the beloved gatherers of light we're travelers in this life we are gatherers of light and we're dancing together we'll be waiting for you there look for the gatherers of light the travelers in this life we are gatherers of light You might see us in the pouring rain You might see us when your heart's in pain It's like a whisper in a hurricane So listen carefully
Wenn Home ist, weil der Ohm ist. Home ist, weil der Ohm ist. Tomorrow we have our special once a month global day of unity mm -hmm. celebration again, which means we're also going to um, chant the Gayatri Mantra, the full mala tomorrow. It's really controversial. 108 cycles. Yeah. 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 108 cycles tomorrow. The whole, every one of these beats we're going to, we're going to have one repetition of the Gayatri Mantra. It's so beautiful to do this together. So, um, try and join us live. Yes. If you can't, no problem. Yes. But it's special when we're connected with the, the whole 108 That's cycles. so nice. Yeah. And it's really true because, you know, whenever we sing together or chant together, we all breathe together anyway, automatically. We don't yeah, even we have to think, yeah. think about it. And so that's a beautiful pulsing unity uh, across the world together. Yeah. And with the prayer of the Gayatri on our lips mm. and in our hearts. And there will be um, many more offerings for Global Days of Unity, which we'll share to our Facebook page, so you can enjoy them um, before and after our, our meditation. And today, uh, like I just said in my post, if you feel to hear more about the mantra beads that we are wearing, um, then stay on. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you a little story about them. And if not, then see you tomorrow. We're gonna end with the uh, Loka Samasta. Loka Samasta Sukino Talantu Loka Samasta Sukino Palantu Loka Samasta Sukino Palantu Loka Samasta Sukino
I'm going to um, restart the uh, Instagram live because it cuts off after one hour otherwise. And, um, and then I'll just come straight back on. Just, just uh, bear with me for one moment. back on Instagram so um, yeah some of you have asked about the mantra beats and uh, so I thought it would be nice actually for you to hear the whole story because it's such a beautiful and strong story that that created these mantra beats and uh, and it's so precious to us the way the whole it's like the, the, it's a kind of a flowering of, of uh, different different um, blessings in our lives, and uh, I think the story really started before we even knew Ami, because Ami is the goldsmith, called the mystic goldsmith, who creates these uh, mantra beads. He lives in Australia, is originally from Israel, and he is a goldsmith all his life it's like his you know he's he's really uh, uh, embodies that uh, the beauty and the the grace and the the, um, the love for detail and everything that goes along with making jewelry or making beautiful things out of gold and so he's been working with gold his life all his life and um, many years ago now maybe I don't know, let's say 10 years ago or something, he, um, he had this incredibly intense accident in, uh, this is all before we knew each other, um, in Australia, where he, where he broke like, like 38 bones in the upper part of his body, like a very intense accident. And um, it was not clear if he even was gonna make it. And he was between life and death for two weeks after that, and uh, in that time where he was, you know, in these other realms where he was open to other energies, he got this whole download from the beyond about the uh, about the power of gold and the energy of gold. And just like, um, you know, crystals have energy, or anything, everything, wood, everything that we that that is there in our field has an energy and so so does gold and gold is very powerful as we know also from the indigenous cultures which use gold to balance the earth maybe you've heard of the Kogi in Colombia who who actually will um, will bury golden golden artifacts or uh, golden um, jewelry or whatever they made out of in certain places because that's where the earth energy needs to be balanced by by that energy of gold or, or in the movie Aluna they write about how they spread this golden thread along uh, I think the coastline of Colombia or something just as a so it's kind of it's an energy balancing um, uh, metal and what I really have to say first also is that army will only work with organic gold which means it's gold that isn't hasn't been mined it's gold that has come out of the earth happily and voluntarily and uh, has no um, pain or suffering attached to it so in this state of of mm, between life and death army received this download that gold had three major qualities that it can help us, um, it can help strengthen these qualities and us, it can help us, um, that we can learn from it, th these three qualities, and, uh, and they are purity and flexibility and conductivity. So I'm gonna just explain it a little bit uh, more. So the, the, the energy of pu purity with gold is that gold is, you can't mix gold with another metal without changing its 
chemical structure. So gold actually needs and wants to say stay pure. So there's purity, and I don't think I need to explain a lot about purity because purity, we all, uh, we all love purity and we all appreciate purity. So it, it gold reminds us of our inner purity and brings purity in our lives. Gold is also very flexible. It's always going to be um, soft. It, it, you can always bend it, so it, it doesn't break, but it bends, you know, so it ha teaches us to be flexible and to be uh, fluid in that way. And the third quality is conductivity, which means it's a great conductor, which means it, oh, I just, uh, one second, it just, uh, Instagram just stopped for some unknown reason. I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to just uh, come back on here. So uh, conductivity um, means it is a it it is a channel for divine energy. It lets it lets energy through. It it's uh, it's open to let en divine energy come through, which is a beautiful learning for us. You know, as we as we wear the gold and as gold is in our lives, that we learn that, qu that quality of being channels for the divine energy. And uh, so out of this accident and out of this very life transforming experience, and now if you see Ami, many of you know him, you would not think he'd ever had an accident. He, it's, he's totally healed or amazingly healed. And, and uh, he, he, yeah, it's an incredible, healing story that he went through that I'm not going to go into right now, but he's good now. And uh, so out of that um, download, he created intentional jewelry, like for example, wedding rings or, or any jewelry where, you, where he actually sits with his client, with a person that he makes a jewelry for, and will, um, will see what they, what they really want, what intention they would like to put into their, into their piece of jewelry and he'll, he'll um, um, inscribe it or find a way, he's found a way to, to uh, Im charge the, the uh, gold with the intention, with the, with the intention that is, is called for at this point. And out of that, because Ami met us in Australia and we became friends, Ami realized, wow, we can use the energy of mantra to Im to charge the gold and then uh, and then uh, carry it on our bodies as jewelry or as these little mantra beads, and the way he he does it, um, I have to also say he came to us with that with that suggestion, and he's such a beautiful human being and such a pure human being. There was no doubt in our minds that he would be a beautiful. Uh, person also to work with and that it comes from a pure clean source and uh, he uh, he found this beautiful way of um, channeling the energy of mantra into the into the gold and the way he does it is he, he takes a little gold like maybe this is this is for example one gram of gold they're like in little like little uh, grains of gold and he will melt it so it becomes like this shining kind of bright sun and it's going to be liquid and then when it's liquid he'll play the mantra the actual sound of the mantra the recording of the mantra into the into the uh, liquid gold and then y as you know about cy cymatics you know where the where you can see the the surface change with whatever sound is being apply to the water, for example, it's that principle that the frequency of that sound will go into the liquid uh, form of the gold. And, and then he lets it get uh, hard and makes it into a very thin, fine strip. And then the mantra gets inscribed in that s uh, strip as a, in Devanagari, in the, in the actual um, Sanskrit uh, writing. And then he rolls it up and then he um, he sears it with fire, and that's you know like you can see a little bit here, and then there's a little mantra bead. 
and uh, and it's really beautiful now I, I, I wanted to prepare this and I didn't but I'll find a way to show it to you he actually um, sent this to a laboratory the mantra beat and had uh, had a it's a laboratory in Germany where they apply the energy of whatever you send them to water and see how the water structure changes, like according to Emoto. So you can see the water before, and then you can see the water crystals as they're frozen after they've been um, in touch with the energy of whatever you send them. So Ami sent them a, a mantra bead, and it's remarkable, it's incredible um, how beautiful the crystal, how the water crystal becomes once it had been in contact with the mantra bead. And uh, I, I posted this before, um, I post it again now. And uh, and so yeah, and so this is many years ago now. I've been, Miten and I, we've been wearing ours for, I don't know how many years we've been working together with army, five, six years or something, never really take it off. And for me, it's a beautiful reminder um, of the mantra. It's a, it's, it's a reminder of purity and flexibility for me. And, uh, and I, just, I just enjoy wearing it. And out of that then came also these uh, unity malas. And this also I've been wearing, I think, every day for the last three or four years. I, every day, I just don't want to not put it on. And it's... Um, it's it's Jerusalem stone, so it's the stone that is um, the Temple of Solomon was m was built out of. It's the stone that is the Jesus grave is out of. It's the because it's kind of like a marble has all these different shades, and uh, so it's 108 beads for our mantra practice, and then it has a golden mantra bead here, which is either Satchit Ananda, Truth, Consciousness, Bliss, or Gayatri, according to your choice. And uh, and so that's uh, that's another beautiful offering that Ami created. <coughs> so tomorrow, for example, when we chant the Gayatri Mantra 108 times, Ami will do will create Gayatri Mantra beads at the same time. And if you like, you can order a mantra bead that was made exactly at that time when all of us around the world chanted the Gayatri together. You just, uh, I, I write that in the copy wh how you can order that. And, um, and uh, then you have it, you know, you have a little uh, tangible piece of our Sangha with you all the time, like that. Um, I think that is pretty much it. Let me see, could you write post on your Facebook? Yes, I can. Can you make a picture? Yes, I can. Um, I'll, I'll post everything that I, that I can. And uh, if you want, yeah, and then you can also ask questions in the post. And then we, tr we do our best to answer them. And I thank you for hanging out with me a little bit longer today. And uh, I uh, just wanted to also say about tomorrow, about the Global Days of Unity, because I didn't really go into it. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful offering that came out of, our, out of the inspiration of Bharat Mitra and Bhavani and, and their friends as Bruce Lipton and Prince EA and... Uh, and my nose will be part of it, and it's a real, it's an offering to uplift the the field with um, uh, once a month coming t together online, and it's happened a few times already, and it's it's unfolding and becoming more beautiful each time. So, just wanted to say thank you to the community because they're all our dear friends, and we are so happy to be part of it and to contribute to that tomorrow also. Have a beautiful day and um, another stage.